Have you guys already talked about that uh, dude who got fucking killed on the ice the other day? Yes. Ooh, yeah, we talked about it briefly. Taylor PKM. misinformed our audience. That yes. was the goriest sports injury or death of all time. It it, com- it encompasses both. There is no more gory instance I've ever even heard of for a professional sport. He died, and you see him coming off, and you see his face is so white. You see the man's face. You know they zoom fucking yeah. in because they don't know his. They don't know. I'm sure they wouldn't have zoomed in if they'd known. Yeah, uh, they shouldn't have zoomed awful. in on that. Yeah, that was. I, is that available to find online? I oh seen yeah, it, it, it was everywhere. Yeah. The impact, but yeah, it, it was rough. Available. The, what what seems Zach, to happen stupid. is the the guy uh, seemed like he threw his leg behind him in an effort to prevent the. I think he was the puck carrier he from was. from going towards the goal like he wanted him to. Yeah, but he didn't clearly. like. Yeah, like I, what he was saying, I misinformed the the patrons, which You're I did. The, the, oh no, no, I because uh, the first day I they only had the version of the clip where you could see like all the blood and gore, so I only watched it through like twice. And so during the hangout, I was I was like, oh, I'm sure it's just like a like, total accidental thing. Wouldn't mean to kick like you would never mean to kick somebody in hockey. What are you crazy? And then they clipped it down to where the gore was out of it. And the next day, I ended up watching like a hundred times, trying to. <clears throat> like ascertain what exactly had happened. And after like just a few watch throughs of that, cause I was able to actually pay more attention when I wasn't dreading the gore and the death. I was like, Oh no, this guy 100% intended to kick. Like he intended to kick him. Like you do not raise your leg that way in a hit ever. Uh, there's a reason there ha- that there haven't been anybody posting clips of similar incidences. Like they'll post clips of like, Hey, here's other times that the skate goes high up. And it's like, yeah, that guy got hit in the back into the bench. That's why his feet came up. Yeah, this guy got hit in the back and his feet came up the way physics works. Kick isn't the word I'd use, though, right? Like he was hoping to put his shin in that guy's path. Like kick to me is something you do with your toe. If But if he wanted to put his foot in that guy's path, it would be a normal tripping and he would have reached out backwards towards the guy's shins. This guy raised his leg deliberately and kicked him in his upper body. So... Like it, it's a very clear okay. that he intended to kick. He didn't mean to, I don't believe he meant to kill him, but he did he, mean to kick him. He put his leg in front of the guy, like a turnstile would in an effort to stop him there. That's what I thought I saw, but you saw it differently. Yeah. So it's well, it, it hits so much higher than that on his body. Like, like tripping is a very common, as you know, like play in hockey as a defenseman because sure, what the sure. play was is that the guy who killed him was the defenseman and he was attempting he had you know missed his coverage and he was attempting to keep that guy from entering the zone and usually you would take a bad penalty like slash and break his stick or you know kick back which he shouldn't have even taken a fucking penalty there like there was plenty of time to recover that play and he instead used like he lifted his left leg up to the guy's upper body and kicked him and that is beyond the pale. Like that doesn't have like there's I've I've seen lots of clips in the past week or few days of people showing like, hey, here's what some of the other incidences like Clint Malarchuk or Zednik or these other people who have been cut by skates. And they're you, all wildly different. Like, do you think when he comes back, like that'll he'll be like a, he'll be like, yeah, it'll fuck with me. You saw what happened to so and so. You'll be next. Like you'll like, be like that kind of enforcer. Ho- like I'd be afraid of that guy, right? Yeah. Hopefully he's never allowed back into any competitive league at all. Hopefully he's what? banned for life. Oh yeah, you cannot I, kick people. I with want him for my team. Leg. Like if I'm that kind of guy, like if I'm trying, if I got one of those beer league hockey teams or whatever that we're trying to to keep going. Beer league? You want that? Get me guy? that guy. Get me that guy. Get me Jose the Killer Montoya. Like get me him. Yeah. No. I I, I hope that guy can never step foot on the ice and play in a professional game again. Yeah, probably not. Probably not. Uh, I'm over here wondering if he's going to get charged with manslaughter. He like might. That's... Like, I don't know how it'll end up panning out, but like... Was it in England? It was yeah. in the English leagues. I don't know what their yeah. laws are, but like... Right. I don't think I, he... Yeah, no, I, I would be I, shocked if he intended to to kill that guy. I think that's up. far-fetched, but he intended to kick him, and the result of the kick was he died. Right, which is why it's not murder, but like, but still manslaughter. I mean, like, you, you hurt the guy. Well, I don't know what died. their laws are. Yeah. yeah, I don't know how they do it there, but like, it's... Yeah. It's a it's a fucked up clip. Like you you watch and you're like okay. Like I like I I went through without the gore one and I was like I much to watch it like not exaggerating a hundred times. I'd be like all right, let me see if he catches an edge. Let me see if his stick pulls him into it. Let me see if he falls into this. And it's like there's there's a reason there's no other clips or examples being posted of like see here's the time that 
uh, Colton Pareko lifted his left leg into the torso of an opponent. And like, and it's like, no, that, that does not happen. Like you, mm-hmm. you don't do that. It reminds me of that famous clip where the guy, same thing where he got his neck slit and he's like, just grabbing his fucking neck. Yeah. And totally. the Cause apparently yeah. that guy survived. Clint Malachuk survived. Yeah. He was a yeah. goalie and it was someone got knocked over and went into him skates first. So very different scenario there. And then a lot of the other ones are. His medic was special. Yeah. I feel like I, I want to talk about that part. Yeah. Right. I, I think maybe someone knows this better than me, but it, his, the medic, the team doctor, these, do- these NHL teams have doctors on the bench was a Vietnam vet who had had some experience yeah. with similar injuries. So he went in there and like pinched off the jugular or yeah. car- carotid. I don't know. Yeah. And, look that uh, up the, the same life. thing. They're just like, one's the blood vessel and one's the, um, one's the vein, one's the artery. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah you yeah. want to keep them both intact. Last night on uh, TN- everything. I think it was last night on TNT that uh, this came up briefly, like during the hockey game and even Gretzky, like, Obviously, they're not going to go in on it totally, but Gretzky, like, very deliberate. It was like, yeah, the so-called accident. Like, he... Yeah, yeah. You, if you, like, if you watch that and you've seen all the ways that people get clipped with skates, generally, people get clipped with the toe or the heel of the skate because they're falling forward or falling back. This mm. guy got caught with, like, the middle of the skate blade. Like, it's it's, it's a very... It's it's tragic. Like, he, the like, guy literally I, died. When you talk, when you said that people would not wear the neck guard, I imagined like a big Hans device, like this big fucking Darth Vader shit. It's literally a kerchief made of Kevlar. Yeah, like yeah. throw that bitch about on, that, boys. Like, in regards It'll keep your like, neck warm. Uh, it's a neck the, warmer. Like, it's like the old a, body armor that they used to put, like that you could button it on to both sides of like a Kevlar vest. It was just mm. like a little Kevlar protector that they give to people. Is that? Can you show a picture of it? It, it, yeah. it? To me, it looks like a, a, I don't know, like a sandbag tube. That you wear around your neck like a collar. Does that does that sound right? Yeah, 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 yeah. The, similar. I saw, they are. I saw a kids. They're so, itchy so. and they are uncomfortable. Oh. And I remember that, like, my dad would try mm-hmm. and make me one when I was playing goalie. And well, like, any time that he wasn't at the game, I wouldn't wear it because oh. I hated it. And there was also like a perceived thing of like, you're kind of lame, like yeah. for for mm-hmm. wearing it. I had and I was two issues. Yeah. Uh, one was it made me hot. I'm a player who gets hot a lot. That's I didn't true. wear a shirt under my shoulder pads or anything, which is shoulder pads and jersey. And uh, that smelled great. Yeah. Yeah, you'd lose that fat. <laughs> <Rancid. laughs> so, uh, I did store it in the garage, like to dry Pressure out. Pressure wash it off. But, the but it smelled bad. Um, but yeah, yeah. So I got around. really hot. And that neck thing, that turtleneck oh, would Christ. make me warmer. So mm-hmm. I didn't like it. The other issue, maybe even a, as big a deal, is it was uncool. And even as like it's a grown up in beer league hockey, it's like everyone's gonna think I'm a pussy if I wear this. There's no one else wearing. I mean, that kid looks like a pussy if we're being honest, right? <laughs> I bully the shit out of that kid. He's gonna get. He's, he might get bullied, that but I guess it's probably is, required now. Like that kid's name's like oh. Kirsten or something. That's like half a girl's name. Random yeah, but he's, he's, on child <laughs> successful. Yeah, but crazy. you can you can his tell by Candace. his you you can tell from his hair that he's a gamer. He's good. I was gonna say that yeah. Taylor. I spotted the hockey hair also. Yeah, ho- hockey hair. You can tell he he's got flow. He's probably got dangles. He's dominating all the other twelve year olds. However old that kid is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but right. I remember like uh like these ones. It's probably literally uh, hero hockey. Zach, bring up the the plexiglass ones that goalies would wear hanging off their mask back in the day. Like my dad, like kind of held my feet to the fire on it and was like, you either have to wear this, which like I felt was like total goober mode because mm-hmm. like people would make comments like on my own team and be like, oh, you're wearing a neck guard. And I, I should have at the time been like, I'm the fucking goalie, bro. Like <laughs> yeah. that kind of shit. Uh, no, that's, that's a face mask. It. No. But, um, it, it's large, clear it's large, and, yeah, and plexiglass thing and, and that dangles. is tied to the bottom of your mask and it just hangs off your chest here. They used to wear them. Yeah, exactly that. Yeah, yeah. That thing there. Uh, usually a little more, a little clearer than that. That's a low quality helmet. But <laughs> the, like that, I thought was like, it was more accepted as like cooler. And so my dad let me get away with that one. Uh, and then like a time came when I was this. like 12 that I just stopped wearing them at all and everything was fine. But every once in a while, like you'd go down to make a save and like you knew it was coming either towards your head or your upper chest and the puck would like clip just the bottom of your face mask. And you'd have kind of like, because if the puck hits you in the face mask really hard, like it jams the whole thing into even maybe your nose, your chin, like all that. And like, I'd even at like 11 have a realization of like, that could have just hit me in the throat. 
which like it, it's just another 11 year old shooting it but it's a fucking piece of vulcanized rubber it's hard in the league i played in face masks were optional there's two kinds there's one that's made out of really strong <laughs> wire that we call a cage and the other is uh, like a plastic shield that goes yeah. in front of you anyway every single game something would happen that made me glad I was wear- wearing it. It might be I get hit with someone's stick, a puck. It might be somebody else who like doesn't have it, loses a tooth you know, or yeah. half a tooth mm-hmm. or something like that. And I was just like, fuck, cages are for good looking people. Oh, yeah. So, like so- like so- men's league, it reverses where like you see a guy in men's league going around like he's Chris Pronger with no face mask on at all. You're like, that guy's an idiot. Like an, a true blue moron. You're not a tough guy. You work at the bank. Like, you, you stop it. Like, you, you, you want to have a big scar? You don't have NHL fucking dental I think it's cool insurance. until he eats one. I think it's cool until he eats one because uh, up until that point, I just believe that he's like a pitcher and he can just pop, just fucking catch that thing every time. I'm with Kyle. And also, it's cool if he's good, right? The people that didn't wear cages in my league were in like the AHL two years ago, you know? And the, or, or they're like 48 now, but they have time in the NHL. And uh, it's like, yeah, well, fucking, of course that guy's not wearing a cage. He, he, he didn't play with one his whole career. I yeah. mean, me well, on the I, other I hand, from, I have a mortgage. I, I, I came <laughs> from like a parenting style, right? Where you were a fucking pussy if you wore a helmet on your bicycle. So oh, like yeah. that's okay. the context, okay. but at the same time, this is a contact sport where you have ra- everybody's got a goddamn razor on their feet. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, yeah. I get it. I get Every, the helmets. Everybody get- has sticks too, which like mm-hmm. like very like day one hockey lessons is like you have like five year olds, six year olds wearing razor blades on their feet and like holding a weapon, and so like they drill into your head like skates are always always stay on the ice, stick always stays on the ice, and like what's usually the problem for young kids is the stick. Cause they'll get to skating and like not realize they're swinging it around like a lunatic and like scoop it up into someone's like under their face mask and, and hit them in the eye or the nose or something. Right. And so you, you have to really drive that into kids. Keep your skates down, keep your stick down. This isn't fucking soccer, which I remember I, I say that because that is what a, a coach said to me. <laughs> like this isn't soccer, like get, like you know, be, be safe out there. Not ripping on soccer, a fine sport. I don't know the no, rules. Not. I'm not familiar Stupid with fucking sport fucking savages um <laughs> not everyone's I, manly Kyle. we talked Let about the sport. uh fucking run around on that big fucking field you lazy bitches yeah. I mean, you um, lazy bitch. well, if there's one thing soccer players are not it's lazy <laughs> they're, yeah they're, look at their gdp they're... in those countries um i'm going to talk about <laughs> <laughs>